add and simplify. In this case, we are asked to add these two fractions that do not have the same denominator. In order to add these fractions, we must make them have the same denominator, which means we need to find the least common denominator between 10 and 15. But before doing that, remember that the tip to add fractions is to stack them vertically. So that will be a 7 over 10 plus 11 over 15. Now, once we have stacked them vertically, let's find the LCD between them. What is the LCD between 10 and 15? 10 and 15. We need to do prime factorization. So 10, what times what give me 10? 2 times 5. Can I still break the 2 down? No. The 5? No. Same idea for 15. What times what give me 15? A 3 times 5. Now let's find the LCD. The LCD between numbers. So we need to take one list. In this case, this 2 times 5. So 2 times 5. And now, is this 3 times 5 included in our list? I need a 3 in my list. Do I have a 3 here? No. So you add a 3. I need a 5. Do you have a 5 in your list? Yes. Therefore, these prime numbers are here already. Now, our LCD will be 2 times 5 times 3, which will be 2 times 5 is 10, times 3 will be 30. Therefore, our LCD is 30, which means we need to convert these denominators to 30. 10 times what give you 30? 10 times 3. So, you need to multiply by 3 in the numerator in the denominator in order to keep having the same value. So, these are called equivalent fractions, but they do have the same value. 7 times 3 is 21 over 10 times 3 is 30. See, now it has a 30 in the denominator. That's what we're going to do for the next fraction. 15 times what give you 30 times 2. So what I do in the denominator, I must do in the numerator to keep having our same fraction. The same value of the fraction. 11 times 2 will be 22. 15 plus times 2 will be a 30. Now that they have the same denominators, we can just add these numerators. 21 plus 22. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. So it will be 43 over 30. Now the answer must be simplified. 43. 43 is a prime number. Now, how do I know that? Well, if you use your divisibility rules, this is not divisible by 3. Is this divisible by 2? No, neither by 5. You divide by 7. Well, the closest you have for 7 will be 7 times 6. And this is 43. Therefore, this is a prime number. Now you check 11, 13, 17, and 43 is a prime number. Therefore, our answer is simplify. So you can give this as your answer, as an improper. However, if you want to change it into a mixed numeral, you can give it as well. However, I would recommend you, as long as your fraction is simplified to the lowest term, just stop there. You already done so much work. Unless they ask you, okay, convert this into a improper fraction, then we will have to convert it. Now let's do a review. How will we do that? It will be 30 into 43. We need to divide that. So 30 goes into 43 once. 1 times 30 is 30. Now we're going to subtract. 3, times, 3 minus 0 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Therefore, our mixed numeral will be 1 and 13 over 30. So either of these answers are still correct.